What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, this is going to be a new format of video that I'm going to do every so often. Uh, real quick videos, just on some really basic CNC tips. Um, I think there's a lot of great videos out there from a lot of guys who have a ton of information in them. The problem when you do a ton of information at once is it kind of gets difficult to digest. So today we're going to do one thing real quick, and that's how to stage a tool at the end of a program if you have an old style tool carousel like my Haas VF3, uh, VF4. This also works if you have a, a, uh, a side mounted tool, uh, tool changer. I only use this on this machine because the tool change takes so long. Um, tool, change, tool staging in the other machines with a, you know, a rotary or an umbrella style tool holder, you can actually stage tools during the program. Today I'm just going to show you how to stage a tool at the end of the program so you speed up the, the, so you speed up the time between cycles uh, in order to save yourself a bit of time when you're doing production, okay? Let's go take a look. So right now I'm running these little aluminum blocks and you can see when the program ends, I have the top up there in the spindle ready to go because um, it was just used. So when I pull out my next part, blow it all out and put the next one in, you can see that what my machine's gonna have to do is tool change all the way back to the first tool before it starts. Um, this is an old style tool changer. Uh, if you got an umbrella style, you, you know, you probably won't have to do this. Um, so you can see here now when the program starts, after I press the green button, there's a good, you know, 15 seconds that it's gonna take to change the tool. So what I'm gonna do is go into my program, I'm gonna hit edit, and I'm gonna go down to the end. This is my old machine, you can tell. So right at the end, above the M30, after the G28Y0 at Homes, I'm gonna put in M06, which is tool change, tool two, T2, because my first tool I'm using is T2, and then EOB, end of block. I'm gonna hit insert on this line here above the M30 before the program ends. And you're gonna see it pop in here. There it goes. So now, when my program is done, I just ran this cycle now that I've edited it. You can see my spindle comes up, now, before the program ends, it's gonna to tool change back to the first tool. Now be careful doing this, guys. I don't recommend really opening the door while the tool change is ever moving. Um, you know, use it at your own risk. It's not really safe, but uh, now the thing is, even if I let it tool change and I came back to it, you can see that when I hit go, after I bang the part down here, it's immediately gonna drop the spindle and get ready to run. Good way to save a little bit of time. So there you have it guys, I hope this has been helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you tell me, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have any other real good tips that you'd like to share with me that I can you know, share with the rest of the people, let me know, you know, this is all about disseminating information and helping each other out, okay? Thanks very much for watching guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button below. You take care.